Well, John, hello, old friend. Hiya, hiya, hiya. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank what you very it, much. What does it feel like? How excited are you to be back here at Birmingham City? I'm very, very excited. Uh, I'm just happy to be, be back here. Uh, and I can't wait to, to get on, on the pitch and, and help the, the club. When the club first made contact with you this summer, was it straight away, yeah, I, I want to return? Yeah, I had to have a look uh, a bit of everything, but yeah, I was, as soon as, uh, as the, they showed interest, uh, I told my agent uh, that, that I was really keen on it because of my past here, of the season here and, and my time here on the pitch and off the pitch as well. So, uh, yeah, as soon as that interest came, uh, I just wanted to, to know more about the, the, everything going on and, yep. and it was pretty simple, yeah. Because when you were here, it, it, it was almost felt like you were at home, wasn't it? I mean, you, you were in a happy place in 2015-16. Yeah, I was, uh, and, and that's what, what I'm looking for coming back. I'm, I'm looking for that happiness again and, and that, that joy on the pitch, off the pitch. With, with I'm, a, I'm a parent now, so uh, show, show my kids uh, uh, what it means for me to be here and, and play for the club. It's been four seasons now. Um, an older, wiser, more knowing player, would you say you are? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's been challenging times as well, but uh, I've learned from every every place I've been since since I left here. My loans in Spain and Scotland, and and the three years at home, and uh, everything that's happened to me in those years have made me uh, wiser, uh, more prepared, and readier to, to to be here. I mean, people always say you should never go back, but I guess as well when you were players player, supporters player, goal of the season, um, no pressure then? Uh, <laughs> well, there's no one going to put more pressure than I put on myself, so uh, I'm just happy to be here. The, it just brings back uh, so many happy memories that I just want to create more and more memories here. And how would you sum up your last sort of three years at, at Hull City? It was a little bit up and down to say the least, wasn't it, for you personally? Yeah, it was, it was tough. Uh, first season, I, I think, it was an alright season, first season, uh, I'm trying to adapt to, the, to a new club, new city and new surroundings and I think uh, I did that, played, played quite a bit and, and uh, helped the team uh, find safety at the end, it was a difficult season. Uh, and then the last two a bit complicated, uh, uh, never found uh, much of a run of games uh, going for me, uh, a lot of things happening and, and a lot of things that made me learn and, yeah. and know me a bit more. Uh, know about myself more uh, and have made me hungrier uh, and, and I'm just excited to be here, really excited and I just can't wait to, to get going and, and show, show everyone again the player I can be. What do you think you can bring to this team that Eitor Karanka is remodelling? Well I think uh, people here probably know a bit about me already. Uh, so I'm just, just a, a midfield player that likes to get on the ball. I like to create chances uh, and I like to, to help the team uh, in every aspect that I can and, and that's what I'm here to do. Um, I'm here to learn as well uh, from, from the gaffer, from the staff and from, from the players. Would you say that the appointment of Eitor Kranker as head coach was also a big factor in the move? Yeah, it was a big help uh, uh, as a manager. Of, I've known about for, for, for quite a bit, even from my time back in Spain. So uh, I'm just really excited to work under him, and, and I just want to uh, get as much as much information and as much uh, um, what he can show me and make me learn from him. So um, I'm here to do that, and I'm ready to do that. So I'm very very excited. The, the, the league seems competitive, season on season. It looks pretty wide open this time round. What, what what, what are your hopes and, and what can Birmingham City expect to do this season, do you believe? Well, championships, everyone knows, everyone knows the championship. It's a pretty competitive league, everyone can beat anyone. So uh, I think the aim has to be to, to win the next game and that's the first game of the season. Uh, start well uh, here at home against Brentford uh, and that will, will then you can kick on and keep going. Like We've got to take it game, game, game by game and uh, like just keep pushing and try and finish as high as we can, but that will only be possible if we focus on, on the next game. Of course, you know a couple of the boys here. David Davis was here when you came on loan, and Michael Kiftonbell, that was his first season as well. Be nice to catch up again. Yeah, yeah, it's players I've seen uh, being an opponent for the last few seasons, uh, but yeah, it'd be nice to, to catch up with them and, 
and it'd be, it'd be easier when, when you have familiar faces in the dressing room. It's finally then, what, what would your message to Birmingham City fans, what would it be John and, and what are your immediate aims? Uh, I just want to say uh, thank you for the support uh, when, when I was back here at the time and I just can't wait to get going and get that, that connection back on and that, that fight together uh, for, for, for one thing and that's the football club and I'm ready to do that and, and I can't wait to get started and play in front, in front of them and hopefully uh, bring, bring good memories and good times to, to the football club. John, that's great. Thank you very much for your time Thank and we you. wish you all the very best of luck again. Thank you very much.